Years later, I'm up in Nashville, and I'm gone through a divorce, and Farron calls me and says, uh, what are you going to do? I said, well, I'm definitely going through the divorce, and uh, he didn't try to talk me out of it. And he said, what are you going to do? I said, I think I'll buy me a condo. He said, no, 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 save your money. I bought this mansion out on Harbor Island. Bill Anderson lives out there, and uh, I want to I want to rent you the bottom half of the house, and I'm gone all the time. And uh, Hank Jr. had just fell off the mountain, and I didn't have a job. So George Jones said, I want you to be the singing host of the Possum Holler. And <laughs> he said, singing Maitre D. I said, Maitre D. He said, Okay, uh, what's another word? I said, Host. He said, Yeah, I like it better. So Farron said, you come and, and you live with me. We'll live together, just the two of us. We'll have fun. I said, great. And uh, I, back, I hadn't had a drink in 21 years so back then. But those days, I would have a drink or two. And uh, Farron was a great, yeah, he was a great cook, though. I mean, he could cook my favorite, shake and bake pork chops, crowder peas with, <laughs> crowder peas with onions, uh, sweet kidding. potatoes. He, he knew how to cook, man, just like... We were the original odd couple. He called me at the Hall of Fame uh, bar, Motor Inn bar, and he said, hey, brother, are you coming home er early? <laughs> yes, Sheriff, I'll be home probably as soon as the traffic dies down, about 6.30. He said, don't lie to me now. I got your favorite, shake and bake pork chops. <laughs> I got some candied yams that are delicious. I got Crowder peas, and I got the onions I'm chopping up in, the little, little tiny onions, you'll like that. And I got you some fresh sliced tomatoes. I said, great. Now, what time will you be home? I said, 6.30 to 6.45. He said, okay. And about midnight, <laughs> I got it, the waitress said, Merle, you got a phone call. <laughs> and this boy said, listen, you think I slave over this hot stove? <laughs> Cooking you shake and bake, sweet potatoes, crowder peas. He said, don't even think about coming home on an empty stomach. You better stop at the Waffle House because Byron Binkley's dog Fluffo is getting your meal. Good night. But you know what? He was a wonderful neighbor out there. Whenever anything would go wrong in the neighborhood, if we had snow, Farron was out shoveling everybody's driveway. I mean, he was, he was a wonderful, wonderful neighbor. Uh, Bill, I... And I got... Hold it. I got to tell you one more, Bill, because <laughs> okay. you probably had this. This is a quickie. I'm downstairs, just got out of the pool. We had an indoor swimming pool. Oh, it was a beautiful place. And uh, I'm laying down, uh, just got out of the pool, and uh, he came down and said, Merle, couple of gnat blowers up there to see you. I said, gnat blowers? I said, oh, okay. That was a figure of speech. I went upstairs, and there was two guys, and they had little gnats, just like in a cartoon, little gnats all over their faces. And they said, hey, Merle, uh, you and Farron need a little yard work? No, we do our own. Thank you. <laughs> These clips are great, but to see where Country Legacy lives in full episodes, go to CountryRoadTV.com.